Hello and welcome to Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. Well, viewers, habit is a behavior that is developed by repetition and is associated with multiple disorders which affect the child's daily activities. And that results in behavioral disorders which persist for more than five weeks. Well, these disorders are thumb sucking, nail biting, etc. And to discuss on this, we are being joined today by Dr. Prakritish Bora, pediatrician from Excel care hospital so not to waste any more time i'll straight away move to him and talk more on the topic which we have taken today all right thank you so much doctor for coming to good life the health show at this point in time live there from the hospital where doctor the topic which we have taken today is a habit disorders in children there are a lot of habit disorders which is seen in uh, various age groups of children so if we talk about the common ones uh, what would be that yeah, thank you, Pooja. Uh, thank you so much for having me. <clears throat> See, uh, the reason I chose this topic is because recently, uh, you know, there have been a lot of uh, behavior as well as, as well as you know habit problems that has that has come up in children. Uh, primarily because <clears throat> children have not been going to school and they they have been home isolated and all, uh, and they have uh, been really you know feeling bored without any um, activity school activity as well as play activity as well as not being able to meet uh, their friends, uh, families, etc. So, uh, 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 I have chosen a few common habit disorders that you see in children to discuss here today. <clears throat> and uh, before I start with the disorders, I would like to say uh, about, talk about uh, you know what are the good habits that you can inculcate in your children. And especially our young children who is below, uh, say, about uh, five years. Right. Uh, the formative years, you know, uh, the formative years being first uh, few years of life, uh, is the very is a very crucial time when uh, parents or people uh, uh, <coughs> surrounding the child uh, are responsible for you know developing the habits in a child. So uh, the target uh, of a parent should be that you know the child by the year about three three more than, little more than three years should be uh, you know self dependent or should be independent of doing certain activities of his or uh, her you know daily routine. So what I am trying to uh, tell here is that the child should be able to uh, <clears throat> do the daily course of his life or her life you know on his own. So, uh, uh, what uh, normally uh, people think that, you know, if a child is young, say about one, one and a half years, two years, they feel that, you know, the child is very young now, so let us not do anything, let us not teach the habits now, so, uh, when he goes up, he learn, learn, learn on his own. That's a very wrong idea, wrong perception. So, <clears throat> all right, all right, uh, doctor. So actually, uh, we are at this point in time uh, discussing uh, so many things. Uh, doctor, we were talking about uh, general good habits, like uh, that has to be inculcated in uh, uh, children uh, ve at very young age. So please uh, proceed with the conversation. Yeah. Uh, so uh, mm, uh, what I was saying that you know it, it, the earlier we teach our children habits, good habits, the better it is because you know it is very easy to uh, make them learn the good habits at an earlier age. Uh, the, uh, so the sooner the better, <clears throat> and it is better not to wait till the child is old enough uh, uh, and then you know try to inculcate habits because uh, if they learn the habits in a bad way. So then it, will, it is very difficult to make them unlearn the habits. So uh, one should be, you know, uh, should be following a certain common uh, uh, things like <clears throat> making the child go to bed early. So with the COVID happening, the, this has become a very difficult uh, problem with children. That most children are uh, sleeping very late at night, waking up late in the morning. So that is one thing that parents will have to look after. Yeah, like, uh, like try to make the child sleep early, <clears throat> go to bed early in the early at night, and wake up early in the morning. So that is a very important uh, habit because uh, once the school is already open, then the children, most of the children, will have early, uh, uh, you know, school. So waking up early in the morning will be very, very important, so that they can finish off their <clears throat> uh, morning work on time, like uh, uh, going to the bathroom, okay. taking a bath changing into uniform and having the breakfast before going to school. All this takes a little while of time and 
and it is ideal that a child should have at least a couple of hours uh, before he goes to school in the morning. So that is one thing. Then the toilet training, you know, I have come across a lot of children who become constipated, who do not go to the bathroom <coughs> regularly and that is because, you know, the lack of time in the morning and when they come back from school, they go to their play and other activities and they forget to, you know, uh, go to the bathroom to pass stool every day and that leads to constipation, habitual constipation. So that one thing is to <coughs> make the child go to the toilet every day in the morning and pass his bowel properly. So that is another habit one should inculcate. Then <coughs> proper hand washing. Absolutely. And the child should uh, uh, proper hand washing. Then child should be allowed to eat on his own. Okay. Eating by self is very, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, I have come across people who, you know, keep on feeding their child. And if you feed your child, <coughs> then two things happen. One, they do not uh, learn to chew properly. They just swallow the food, and which is not good for digestion. And secondly, you know, they become dependent and uh, also insecure. So eating on uh, one's own is very, very important for a child. And uh, if they eat on their own, they chew better and they finish the meal on time. So, and then one, one has to learn, also learn to get ready for school on time. So this, uh, and uh, uh, another thing is taking, doing the bathroom uh, things on their own, like taking a bath. So this, uh, learning this behavior or these habits, uh, by about three, three and a half is, is very, very important. So that the child is independent or say dependent by uh, school, you know, by the school age. All right. So, now, doctor, uh, uh, at very young age, uh, when a student or uh, if a person or, of a children comes from the school, it is a very important role that the parents play at this point in time uh, for putting those uh, good habits in their children. So uh, we have also seen uh, that a lot of like pampering is being done to their children as well. But at this point in time, parents should also understand that good habits should be inculcated in their children at a very young age so that they uh, take up those habits in a very long run, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> so that's what I'm trying to emphasize that, you know, uh, putting in or inculcating good habits at a very early age is very, very important. And one should not be waiting the child till the child is <coughs> old enough. So uh, uh, now that we uh, have uh, talked about, you know, inculcating good habits at an early age, so I would be talking about a few problems uh, or habit disorders that we come across very often uh, in a child. So the commonest or the earliest being uh, finger and uh, uh, thumb sucking. So uh, this uh, habit uh, is often seen in many children and many babies uh, and it starts almost around five to six months. All right. And All right, <coughs> doctor. Yes, uh, we will talk about the habit disorders in children, but we have a caller at this point in time. So let's take the call and then we'll proceed yes. with the conversation. Uh, hello. Hello. Sir? Hi, Namaskar. I'm going to go to the house. Hi, hi. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to the house. All right. Uh, the caller was asking about her uh, niece uh, that uh, she is uh, five months of old and uh, she always is, is stick to her mother and uh, she doesn't want to leave her mother, which is actually very commonly seen with uh, these young children. So at that point in time, uh, is it OK with it or what do you have to say, doctor, on this? The child is five years old. Hello. Five months old, five months old. OK, OK. <clears throat> See, five months old baby trying to be with the mother and uh, not going to anybody else uh, is okay. Uh, but normally, uh, stranger anxiety, stranger anxiety or anxiety for other people uh, besides uh, the mother and father and the people in the family is very common. Uh, but then that normally starts around nine months or after nine months. 
so uh, children you know they learn to recognize people so they know who's close to them who's a family member and they are only comfortable with uh, the parents and the family members and if they are exposed to other people outside the family they do not feel comfortable they do not feel secure and they start you know some children will start uh, behaving in a very odd way they start crying they will start refusing you know or accepting conversation with other people right <clears throat> they start refusing the doctor also so that is very commonly seen after 9 months of age but at 5 months uh, this is happening this little early Uh, but then i don't think you the mother needs to worry about this because okay. uh, mm, uh, it can happen in some children very early in life but uh, what the mother should be trying to do here is to let the child uh, okay you know go to other people whenever possible because that will reduce the anxiety and the insecurity in the child <clears throat> and that is very very important for character development or behavior development in the child All right, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Doctor, for uh, sharing those thoughts at this uh, point in time with the viewer who have just called. And uh, numbers are flashed on your television screens, viewers. So if you have any queries, uh, do join us at this point in time through calls, and please call up and ask your queries. But right now, we'll slip into a short break. Do come back soon because we have lots more on the other side. Welcome back viewers you are still watching a uh, good life the health show with me pooja and uh, we are having a fruitful discussion with dr prakritish bora on uh, the habit disorders in uh, children all right we have a caller at this point in time doctor will take the call first and then we'll proceed with the conversation uh, hello hello ami khuni aso apnar prashno to koribo ha bortaman shikshar khetot kiba koliwa lagisile hello আমি শুনি আছো আপনার প্রশ্নটো করিব আমার তাত আজি ডক্টর প্রাকৃতিক বড়া আছে চাইল্ড স্পেশালিস্ট পেডিয়াট্রিশিয়ান ফ্রম এক্সেল কেয়ার হসপিটাল আপনার যদি বাচ্চা रिलेटेड কিবা প্রশ্ন থাকিলে খুলিব পারে তাহলে পেটার বিয়ত কি করিব লাগিব All right. Uh, there is uh, some confusion with that uh, call, but uh, doctor, we were talking about uh, habit disorders in children, and uh, you were talking about uh, first off about the uh, thumb sucking. So that is very commonly seen in children. So please proceed with the conversation. All right. Uh, <clears throat> see, uh, around five to six months, uh, most babies will try to put their finger or commonly thumb into their mouth, and they suck. Uh, sucking is something you know the babies uh, they learn from their mother's womb, and that is the only uh, trait that they come they are born with. So that comes easily to them, and taste is something which also develops as a sensation develops in babies you know early in life. So uh, because of these two things, they tend to you know take uh, everything into their mouth uh, around this time uh, time around five to six months. so <clears throat> they'll end up you know uh, sucking uh, anything that comes into their hands so this is a very common habit which is almost seen in everybody uh, every child and and this can be taken as a, a non habit forming uh, till a certain age normally once a child grows up say <coughs> grows beyond about 1 1 and a half years and to a maximum of about 2 and a half to 3 years children might you know take their finger into their mouth and suck at them so that can be taken as normal but if a uh, sucking of the thumb or finger sometimes when it happens with uh, you know toe sucking also fingers of the uh, feet they some children they tend to even suck at their uh, toes mm. so this becomes uh, a, a habit or becomes a habit disorder if it continues beyond 3 uh, years of age so normally uh, all the behavior or habit disorders are seen in children who are not secure insecure who are kind of bored they have boredom boredom set it, set into their life and <clears throat> if they are anxiety if there is anxiety in them or if there is stress in a child so basically these factors insecurity boredom uh, anxiety and stress so uh if a child is sucking his thumb it is very difficult to make him uh, stop his habit 
as I said, that habit disorders are something uh, it is best to prevent. And once they set in, once the child has uh, a habit disorder, it is very difficult to, you know, undo it. So if a, a child gets into a habit of uh, thumb sucking or finger sucking, then rather than poking at the child or telling him not to do it or trying to correct him, okay. one should be able to re remove the anxiety, insecurity or whatever might be the reason for the child's, um, uh, you know, uh, thumb sucking or finger sucking. So one has to take sometimes the help of a uh, child psychologist or, or, or a pediatrician to come to know about what is uh, you know bothering the child. All right. And uh, also if a child is uh, not given enough uh, sucking uh, uh, you know experience like if a mother has not breastfed the child okay. so the child may have uh, you know if the child was bottle fed because bottle feeding becomes very quick the f child can feed from the bottle very quickly mm -hmm. so he ends up not having enough sucking time on the uh, on the bottle so that results into the habit formation of you know trying to suck into other things all right so, all right doctor uh, uh, one we... should be try, try right. one should always try to give breastfeed absolutely absolutely uh, doctor we have another uh, caller at this always, point in uh, time uh, yeah we have a caller waiting so let's take the call uh, hello hello ami huni aso apnar prashno to koribo আমার <laughs> <laughs> আপনার প্রশ্নটো এটা বহুত মাকর প্রায় এনেকা ধরনের প্রশ্ন আমি পাইছো আর এটা খুব কমনলি হয়ে আছে লড়াচলি ক্ষেত্র আর হেতুর কারণ তো হয়েছে যে যেন কোভিডর কারণে আমার যেন সিচুয়েশন আহি পড়েছে হেতুর কারণে যে লড়াচলি করবলে একো নাইকিয়া হয়ে গেছে এটা মই ভাবো যে এই বস্তু বিলাক যেতে স্কুল খুলিব নিজে নিজে হয়তো নাইকিয়া হবো যেতে আমার ডেইলি রুটিন তো নরমাল অবস্থালে আহিব কিন্তু আপনি যেন তার আপনার সাড়ে সাড়ে বছরের শিশু যেন খঙাল হয়েছে বা যেন পড়া শুনাত মন নাইকিয়া হয়েছে সেই বস্তুটো লো খুব একটা চিন্তিত হব না লাগে আর এইখানে বয়সত আসলে সিঁত কিছু পরিমাণে কথাবিল বুঝাও হয় কিন্তু এট দ্য সেম টাইম যান ভালকে বুঝি লাগে সিমান ভালকে বুঝি নাপায় গতি সিঁতক আপনি হেন্ডেল করা মানে সিঁতক প্রপারলি শিকা তো খুব জরুরি আর ইয়াতে একটা কথা যে সি খং তার খং উঠিছে বলে আপনারও খং উঠিব সেই কথাটা হব না আপনি নিজের মন তো কুল রাখব নিজের মাইন্ড তো কুল রাখব আর খঙাল স্বভাব তো কমাবর কারণে বেবি শিশুটিক আপনি যান পারে ব্যস্ত করে রাখা তো খুব জরুরি গতি ব্যস্ত করে রাখব কারণে তাক বিভিন্ন ধরনের হবিজ দিব পেইন্টিং হব পে মিউজিক হব পে খেলা ধুলা ব্লগস বনা পাজল সল্ভ করা আর কিছুমান ফেমিলি একটিভিটি তাক লগত লই লোব যে আপনি যদি গার্ডেনিং করে ভাল পায় গার্ডেনিং তাক হেল্প করব পারে বা আপনি রান্ধোতে তাক কিবা কিবি সর সুরা কাম করব পারে তো সিঁতে এনেকা ধরনের ডর যদি আমি কাম করো তাত যদি সিঁতক আগভাগ দিয়ে বা ভাগ লোবলে দিয়ে তেতাও শিশুয়ে ভাল পায় আর এই ব্যস্ততার থাকে আর এইটার কি হব আপনার একটা বন্ডিং হব যে আপনার অলমান মিলা মিশা হলে একটা বন্ডিং ফর্মেশন হয় আর বন্ডিং তো থাকলে কি হব সেই খঙাল যুক্ত হয়েছে আপনার ওপর বা বেলেগর ওপর সেই বস্তুটো কমিব আর ফিজিক্যাল একটিভিটি থাকা তো খুব জরুরি তার মানে যদি শিশুর পরিশ্রম না থাকে শারীরিক তেতিয়া তাহাঁতর ভাগর কম থাকে গাত ভাগর কম থাকলে টোপনি বেয়া হয় খঙাল হয় এইবিল বস্তু হয় গতি সেই পরিশ্রমখিনি হবর কারণে তাক খেলা ধুলা করব দিয়াটা খুব এসেনসিয়াল আর সেটা আপনি সালে রাতপা উঠার পিছত করব পারে এক ঘন্টার কারণে বা আবেলি ফালে করব পারে এটা কেন সেটা ব্যবস্থা করে আপনার আপনার ওপর নির্ভর করব গতি সেই মনে হয় যে শারীরিক পরিশ্রম করব দিয়াটা খুবই জরুরি আর ডিসিপ্লিনিং করাটা খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট কিন্তু খং রাগ করে পেলে নহয় বা মারধর করে পেলে নহয় কিনা বেলে ধরনের আর সি যে খঙাল হয় তার লগত বেশি লাগি না থাকিব তাক অকলে সেই সময় এরি দিয়াটা ভাল কারণ যেটা খং উঠে কারবার খঙত সেইখিন সময় যদি মানুষের আমি লাগি থাকো খং তো দীঘলিয়া হয় বা বেশিকে হয় গতি সেই সময় তাক অকলে এরি দিব লাগে আর যেটা কিনা এটা আপনি ডিসিপ্লিন করেছে তো আপনি ডাঠ হব লাগিব স্ট্রংকে কথাটা কোব লাগিব 
আৰু হি জিমানে কিয় হেৰি নকৰক আপুনি হৈ মানিব না লাগিব আৰু ঘৰৰ ডিসিপ্লিনিং কৰতে ঘৰৰ সকলো মানুহ সমানে ব্যৱহাৰ কৰিব লাগিব তে কোনবাই খং কৰিছে কোনবাই মৰম কৰিছে তেনেকুৱা খেলিমেলি হ'ব না লাগে All right, so thank you so much for calling at this point in time. I'm sure you must be benefited with the answer just a doctor gave you. Well, doctor, we are really a short <coughs> of time at this point in time. So if we need to talk about the fixing of the habit disorders in children, so quickly, if you could uh, put some light on that. Yeah, uh, as I said, there, you know, there were certain um, habit disorders that I wanted to, uh, you know, discuss about, but then we uh, do not have sufficient time. So, uh, as such, I just want to, you know, make a uh, blanket statement that whatever might be the uh, habit problem, it might be nail biting, it might be thumb sucking, it might be pica, it might be uh, habit spasm or tics. So, whatever the might be the reason uh, or or uh, habit disorder. the uh, reason for or the uh, you know uh, the underlying uh, reason for the habit disorder is always more or less the same as i said insecurity stress tension anxiety and boredom so one has to uh, make sure you know the child is not going through any of these conditions try to keep the child engaged in activities try to uh, make make the home environment happy for the child right and try to make the child uh, not feel bored by you know getting him into various activities mm -hmm. so this is how you know one can uh, and uh, and one should try and make the child confident so that he is not insecure so these are a few uh, you know ways uh, of you know not have uh, you know uh, ge getting habit disorders into ch into your children and uh, if you if the child develops it uh, trying to get medical attention as soon as possible uh, to get rid of the habit disorder is very very important absolutely doctor and if any confusions uh, apart from this uh, doctors like you are there to solve all those uh, queries at this point in time isn't it so thank you so much dr prakatish bora for joining today in a good life the health show for uh, solving all those queries the co phone calls which we got at this point in time i'm sure the viewers who have watched our show must be benefited with the, all the answers just a doctor gave you and with this we have come to the end of the show and we hope that we were able to answer all your queries in the best possible way and in our next episode we will be discussing on some other important health issues so if you have any queries do join us next saturday at 3:30 pm live till then stay healthy stay fit and keep watching northeast live goodbye